This video starts with a look at three gateways to French vocabulary. First, French phrases that are commonly used in English. Then, a look at some of the words and phrases that are the same in both languages. The third gateway is French words that can be worked out from common sense. And I'll end with a useful tip about how adverbs can be formed in French. So, here are a few examples of French phrases commonly used in English. Someone who is à la mode is very with it or up to date. À propos means in relation to or on the subject of. To be au fait with something means to be up to speed or informed. Someone who is very avant-garde would be innovative and up to date. Well, rather à la mode, as a matter of fact. When things go wrong, you might say, Ah well, c'est la vie. Déjà vu refers to situations where history is repeating itself. De trop is too much or over the top. And the term enfant terrible, which is often applied to adults, means terrible or wild child. The good news is that there are hundreds of these French expressions and becoming more familiar with them should be a useful key to unlocking this first gateway to French vocabulary. There are also hundreds of words and phrases that are the same in French and English and here are just a few of them. Acteur, broche, âge, café, arrivé, changer, Bal, chèque, banque, clinique, batterie, danger, bébé, film, bleu, and glacier. My third gateway is more subtle. It's based on looking at a particular unfamiliar French word and asking yourself what English word it brings to mind. For example, the French word aimé makes me think of amiable or amorous, and you might take the leap from here to work out that aimé means to love. Chambre makes me think of chamber and is the French for room. Déviation looks and sounds like deviation, and it actually means diversion or détour, another French word as it happens. Femme sounds like famished, and that means hungry. Abite sounds like to inhabit, and in English, abite is to live in the sense of to dwell. Jouer might make you think of joust, which is where full-grown knights play around on horseback, and jouer means to play. Laver is linked to lavatory and means to wash. Maigre sounds like meagre, and that means skinny. More has connections with Mortuary and mortal, and means dead. And finally, novo, make, it makes me think of novel, and its English meaning is new. And there are many, many more French words whose meaning can be worked out in this way. And finally, here's a tip about French words ending in M-E-N-T. In English, we often turn an adjective into an adverb by adding the letters L-Y. For example, strong becomes strongly. There's a similar trick in French based on adding M-E-N-T. Usually you have to take the feminine form of the adjective, in this case fort. So the French for strongly is fortement. Similarly in English easy, easily becomes in French facile and facilement. Soft and softly become douce and doucement. Happy and happily become heureuse and heureusement. Of course there are some exceptions and occasionally the M-E-N-T ending is put on the masculine form of the adjective. For example the French word for politely is formed by taking the masculine adjective P-O-L-I, poli, rather than P-O-L-I-E, and adding mon 
to get polymo without the E. So I hope you find these gateways to French vocabulary useful. Au revoir.